Yes, sir. You can start now. Okay, sir. Good evening, everybody. I am Dibendu Karfa. On behalf of the Benchmark Education, uh, we are going to uh, host today's webinar, and I would like to welcome you all. We have two sessions today. The first session is by is represented by Dr. Koop Mohammed on behalf of London American City College. uh the topic will be uh, discussed by dr koop mahmud is align your career especially for the students with american and european degrees to be world's most preferred professional i'd like to uh, give a little bit of introduction as we know that dr koop mahmud is very distinguished in his educational background and educational field he is very much engaged and he has rendered his extreme level of services in the field of education dr mohammed dr mohammed is the dean and md of london american city college and adjunct professor of madonna university michigan usa he is having 26 years of experience in academics teaching training and research fields he holds doctorates from us europe and india and he is also a phd examiner and guide for american european and indian indian universities dr cop has received more than 50 awards and recognitions from various national and international bodies including award from california legislative assembly dr cope is also a recipient of entrepreneurship certification from harvard university the eminent one from us dr cope has uh, traveled widely to around 60 countries and has delivered more than 350 seminars talks conducted many workshops and colloquiums published more than 50 research papers in both international and in reviews and guided more than 800 research projects dr cope is in the editorial and advisory board of international journals bearing the issn number 2231565 5756 and 2231 he is also an expert in accreditation his area of research is business management operations marketing and education dr cope is also the uh, sorry the country chair for the international conference scheduled to be conducted by jain university he is very well known for educational social work for the last 20 years as gs at berry's cultural forum and vice president at knri forum so i hope that today's all attendees especially the students and the parents who are watching this they will definitely get some enrichment from dr koop mohammed as he is having very uh, you know uh, uh, enrich and the experienced in the field of education field of business management operations and marketing so now without much more delay i would like to hand over the dais or the uh, webinar phase to dr koop mohammed over to you sir thank you very much uh, mr dema do karfa from benchmark thank you sir so i am uh, thankful to the uh, ni model group i think this is being uh, uh, done in association with the uh, uh, nims group i also take this opportunity to uh, welcome all our uh, you know dearest and nearest uh, students community in the uae especially from nims group the parents i hope this particular uh, um, seminar will be useful this particular talk will be useful for all of you 
especially when I talk about um, aligning the career through American and European education. Now, American and European education, before I put some limelight on this, let me just uh, say, you know, people get rejected for a particular job. Now, I don't know why people get rejected for the job. Many of them ask this question, you know, why people are getting rejected for a particular uh, uh, job. Now, the major reason where people get rejected for a particular job is lack of education. Education is very important. Even if it is a COVID situation, even if it is economy is in problem, or if you have a lot of troubles, but education should never ever be compromised. This is important for our life, for our family, for our survival, for the nation, for the society, for the community, in all in all, for the whole world. I could remember one of uh, a student came to me, he said that, sir, I have completed 12th and I got a job in a, uh, you know, a cargo, airline cargo company. He said, I'm, sir, very happy that I received a job offer and I'm going to join and I'm not going to continue my studies because I got a good job. And then I told him that, see, job you will be able to get it, but try to see that you complete your education. And he didn't complete the education. He was very happy in the job, you know, completed around uh, seven to eight years. He was promoted as a team leader in the cargo department of the airline company. And after becoming the team leader, that particular cargo department went for quality certification. The quality auditors, they came, they inspected everything, they looked into all the database, looked into all the documentation, looked into the profile of each and every employee working in that particular organization. And finally, they rejected the quality certification. The only reason they mentioned in the quality certification is that the team leader is not qualified to hold this particular position in the cargo department. Why? Because he was not holding a, a minimum qualification level that is a bachelor's degree. And he got rejected from the job. So dear students and parents, and my dear well-wishers, my dear audience, the major reason why you get rejected for a job is lack of qualification, lack of knowledge, lack of experience, lack of communication, lack of, lack of networking, and lack of conceptual creativity and analytical skill. This is the major reason. So major reason out of all this is the first reason is the education. So dear students, education is very, very important, you know, and never ever compromise with education because that's a part and parcel of your life and that is required for everyone. Then comes, you know, what is complete your academic profile? Very important is that, you know, always your academic profile should be complete. And what is your academic profile? To get your bachelor's degree, get your master's degree. So once you get your bachelor's and master's degree, your academic profile is complete, you know, unless and until you want to do uh, you know, a PhD or you want to go for professorship or you want to go for research. In that case, you can go for a doctorate. Otherwise, your academic profile will be complete only once you complete your bachelor's and master's degree. Never stop your studies after 12. You need to complete your 12th. You need to complete your bachelor's and complete your master's. At this point of time, you'll find that what is important for your life is learning is important, your qualification is important, your knowledge is very, very important. So always remember, complete your academic profile and your academic profile is your bachelor's and the master's degree. And try to see that you get your bachelor's and master's degree from a recognized accredited university. You know, purely reputed universities see that you get this qualification from a recognized university. 
and also along with the degree you need to have enough knowledge without knowledge and getting a degree is also not permissible not acceptable from the academic standards point of view and last thing what i want to say about your complete your academic profile is to see that you complete a full term of your study never ever go for shortcuts because there is no shortcut in academics if you want to complete your bachelor's degree an american bachelor's will take you know around 4 years time to get your american bachelor's if you are talking about uh, you know other bachelor's degree from uk or from other countries or asian countries it takes minimum 3 years for your bachelor's so you will find you need to have minimum 3 years to get your a uh, bachelor's degree and a minimum of one and a half years to get your master's degree anybody saying that you can complete your bachelor's degree in say 6 months 1 year all oh, that is not permissible as per the academic standards you need to complete a particular term that's the reason today i am speaking about american and european education see american education is the most most preferred education around the world wherever you go you'll find that american education is very important for you know many of the uh, countries and many of the individuals who are holding high profile jobs whether they are holding in as a vice chancellor or whether they are working in multinational firms everywhere you'll find that you know american degree holders are much more preferred I have my student who completed an American degree from Madonna University based in Michigan state she completed her bachelor's and masters now she is in Canada working as the HR manager at Walmart so that's the reason you'll find that you know I'm going to talk about quickly on guess through the uh, you know the uh, program evaluation on American and the European degrees so when i look into the national center for educational statistics you know six most popular college majors are there as per the uh, statistic this was released somewhere in december 2000 you know 17 but you will find that the number one preferred major is the business major you know business major when 19% of the students graduated with a business major degrees and the second preferred is the health professions and related program and the third preferred college major is social science and history the fourth one is psychology the fifth one is the biological and biomedical sciences and the sixth one is the engineering program so that's the reason i'll find that you know you'll note that american and european education is very important you know which stands on well so let me just tell you why study american and european degree programs now when you look into the world's largest companies most of the world's largest companies whether it is microsoft whether it is google whether it is uh, uh, yahoo whether it is uh, cisco you know whether it is oracle you'll find that most of the companies you know world's largest companies are based in the united states of america and when i look into the you know 25 top 25 economies in the world ranking the richest country in the world you'll find as per the nominal gdp in trillion united states stands first with 21.43 you know of a uh, uh, trillion dollars so that's the reason you'll find that us has 24.41 percentage of share of the global economy so when you talk about these things you'll find america is one of the most dominant uh, you know uh, economy in terms of managing the technology in the world so that's the reason you'll find that majority of the companies like largest majority of the companies whether it is based on market capitalization you know you'll find that you know again us stands first with apple you have the amazon you have the microsoft you have the alphabet you have the facebook you have the bakshar hathway so all these largest companies you will find that they are based in the united states of america and same way top 10 you know fortune global 500 also you will find that us companies stands first same way when you talk about 
top 10 for you know forbes global 2000 there also you'll find that us companies uh, you know uh, come in the list of the top 10 companies so everywhere whatever you do whether it is uh, retailers or wholesalers or technology oriented company you'll find that the us companies you know are on the top in terms of everything in terms of revenues etc you'll find that it comes on the top Coming back to you know the individual who is in front of you, Dr. Raghuram Rajan, the former RBI governor. See, he's, he has been the governor, now he's the professor. And do you know what is his, you know, the way what he did after completing his uh, graduation? He did his uh, PhD from MIT, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, and he joined the Booth School of a uh, business at the University of Chicago, one of the very renowned person, Dr. Raghuram Rajan. So you'll find that many of the, uh, uh, you know, the top brass of the society who are, uh, who are working as a chancellor, vice chancellor, or academicians, or the managers, or the general managers working in the multinational firms, most of them are you know have gone or have received their degrees from an american top american university same way we have dr geeta gopinath the chief economist of the international monetary fund again you'll find that what did she do she did her doctorate in economics from princeton university us and also did her masters from the university of washington again you will find that all these people have really done you know their bachelors and the masters back in their own country and went back to us to pursue higher education so you'll find that these are the people who have really done a lot for the society for the country for the nation and for the whole world formerly she was the professor at the harvard university so when you look into this, the most valued universities are in the United States of America. 50% of the world's top 50 universities are located in the United States. Now, why they are located in the United States? Because they have a very good small you know, class size, which enables the students to interact with each other, to work with each other, to come out with creative ideas you know, with a small uh, classroom size with an accredited professors with the advanced technology with the research capabilities with the best externship with the best internship with the best placement so you'll find that most of the valued universities you know top 50 percent of the world's top universities are located in us same way you'll find that maximum number of students international population with about 1 million students go to the United States of America to join and pursue their educational career, whether in Columbia, whether in Michigan State, whether in Walden, whether in Washington. So a couple of places they go and join the best universities. And again, when I say about American education, you can become an expert in the specialized field. You'll find that you can be an expert with a real world application. Most of the uh, you know, American universities, they look for the real world application. When you're studying uh, uh, for a particular subject, I mean, you know, you'll find that we have a subject called as personal life cycle planning. And you'll find they give a hypothetical example of New York Stock Exchange. And then they tell the students, okay, you have this particular, you know, this much of amount and how do you trade in the stock exchange? So you're given a hands-on experience. The Bureau of Labor Statistics in the US says that the business and finance occupation will grow over 10% from 2006 to 2026 with an average salary of 67,710 US dollars for the business and the finance occupation. Same way you'll find that the US universities are, you know, they are research oriented, they support the research students. 
they support the creative students. So many of them, you know, you'll find whether it is a stream in business, whether in uh, uh, science, whether in uh, law, any of the business, you'll find that you go to US and you study your program, you'll find that you are rated for getting good creativity. You are involved in research. You get an academic credit pay. You are involved in publications. You are involved in patenting. For example, UCLA has around 350 research laboratories to conduct research in the United States of America. Same way you'll find that the US universities have a very, very engaging campus, socializing, research, small student group. They have a very relaxing environment, which includes a class assignment, a group work, and a weekly commonplace activity. So a lot of things are there when you do a program with uh, US universities. Same way you'll find that the multicultural environment has a very good multicultural environment, you know, feel uh, like you are at home with, uh, with the support of cultural diversities. They organize a lot of activities, the social activities, cultural activities, etc. So they have a multicultural environment. And when you talk about competitive edge in the market after you get graduated from an American university, what happens? You have a guaranteed career after graduation. Your pay scales go skyrocket, sky high. You get a good placement in the industry. For example, an MBA from Harvard will fetch you somewhere around $122,000 to $201,000 per year, same way MBA from Columbia, 122,000 minimum, MIT, 128,000 minimum, a bachelor's degree will fetch you around $66,400 to $121,000. So you get a guaranteed career after your graduation with an American university. Always remember American university, they have a four-year degree program. It is not a three-year degree program. Many of the universities in Asian uh, countries, you'll find it's a, a three-year degree. But if you want to do an American MBA, you cannot do an American MBA. Why? Because you need to do one more additional year in order to uh, see that you have the same standard of the four-year degree program unless and until you have completed an engineering four-year degree or a medical four-year or five, five and a half years of degree. So it's a four year degree program. It's an American degree with maximum number of multinational corporations based in the United States of America with the maximum amount of output produced in the US. So when you look into this, when I talk, you know, we have a question like something, it comes, do I need higher education from the US and why? So you'll find that US gives you a very, very innovative career. The American University gives an innovative career. You get a career with the best higher salaries, you know, for the students who have completed the degree from American University. And some of the research data shows that, you know, some of the universities, they don't have enough infrastructure, but the American, the best American universities have the best infrastructure, you know, which will enhance your earning potential, which will synchronize with the needs of the industry. You know, you will have a lot of simulation exercise with the real world situation, real world company, as I mentioned about, you know, having a simulation at the New York Stock, Stock Exchange in US. And you'll find, for example, University of Warwick, they offer a particular course, which is called as MORS, which includes math, operations, research, statistics, and economics, which provide employability skill, ability to adopt to a global perspectives. So what makes an Indian student to study abroad? You know, you'll find that the Indian employability rate, it indicates that 34.7% companies that hire graduates from, you know, foreign university, the first choice is US universities and 10.9% choices from UK universities, 32.4% hired are from the management discipline, 29.7% hired are from the engineering discipline, 29, 21.6% hired from the computer and information science uh, discipline. That's the reason you will find that many of the students opt for an American degree. An American degree will enable you to migrate 
any part of the world, whether it is Canada, whether it's Australia or any country, you can migrate with all the requisite details which you need to uh, put it up in your documentation. And you'll find 56 US universities appear in the global university ranking. And the employment ranking, you'll find Harvard is the first, then you have the California Institute, then MIT, et cetera. Why? Because they have the best career counselors. Career counselors are experienced in the field of job placement, career goals, task of internship, job placement, and career advisement. And they have a very good employer employee relationship. When you look into the preparation of a career plan, always the first year student, they begin with a career plan. They try to identify their skills. They try to identify their interests. They try to identify their passion. They try to engage in volunteerism. And the second year students, you know, you'll find that they then the career uh, service, they assist in resume writing, refining the skills and trying to find the best means of getting a job as an intern. And the final year students, they, the department connects the students with employers, they connect with good scholarship, they have the job fair, they have the interviews, you know, they try to have a mock interview, they try to have workshop and etiquette, you know, they try to have a workshop on, you know, how to, you know, manage their CVs, how to develop their CVs and how to become a professional, you know, networker. So you'll find that uh, the uh, career plan goes with stage by stage operations. So here you'll find that the American University, 99% of our students always participate in experiential learning. And we, 100%, you know, 100 plus companies provide, you know, internship and cooperative learning opportunity. So this, how about our program assist in better placement options. So they have all these things, internship, externship, short-term training, interviews, career planning, job leads, completing the application, you know, a lot of skills, workshops we conduct in order to help our students saying that they can do the best when they are in the actual industry. So that's the reason the best salaries in India for foreign degree holders, 5.5 lakh students, you know, 55% immigrating annually are studying in the US and Canada and 10% in the Europe and 17% in the uh, in Australia. And when you look into the uh, salaries which they get, once they complete their American degree, go back to India, Accenture India, they were offering around rupees 450,000 you know, same way Infosys, 400K, same way Cisco India, 1,200K, same way Cisco US, 102K uh, dollars. So you'll find that they get a good amount of salary, which they, you know, prefer for getting in a Indian university. And recognition of American university, yes, the top American accredited universities are always recognized. And the evaluation criteria is that, you need to get the equivalency from the Association of Indian Universities. So AIU gives the equivalence for you know, the degrees which you have done other than the professional degree like medicine. Medicine, you cannot get the equivalency. You need to pass a specific exam. But the business degrees, you get the equivalence if you have completed the degree from an accredited original uh, uh, you know, university, a top university in the US with the appropriate duration of the program. Now, many of the times I'm seeing some of them, you know, they look for NRI quota in private colleges. Now, remember NRI quota in private colleges, it is just called as management quota or NRI quota, where the students end up paying a lot of money. You know, one of the students asked me, is there an NRI quota in NEET? No, absolutely no NRI quota in NEET. Can NRI get uh, uh, seats in IIT? No, you need to pass all the, uh, you know, examination which is required to qualify as an, uh, you know, in the, uh, to get into the IIT program. But some of the you know uh, uh, universities probably uh, they are taken with something called as DASA, you know, direct admission for students abroad is governed by the Ministry of uh, uh, HRD in India. You know, they provide certain quota for the people who have uh, you know studied in the Gulf region. But again, you need to apply for the same. 
<clears throat> so quickly to tell you about what careers with an American and European business degree can offer. As per the US News and World Report, you'll find that you know business degree, business management degree, or an international business management degree definitely provides a very good edge in the uh, market. So you'll find that the world's most uh, uh, business degree pursuers, they always prefer for an American degree first, the second is European business degree, the third is a Canadian business degree, and the fourth one is Asian or other countries business uh, degrees. So more than 50% of business degree pursuers wants to study an American business degree. Of course, always, you know, you'll find that, you know, IMD business school from Switzerland, they say that, yes, it helps uh, to show the students how to make a smart decision, how to take a holistic view of the situation. So different uh, universities have different uh, uh, ways of dealing with the people. You'll find that they do different types of opinion. For example, from the, uh, you know, the Patrick from uh, Point Park University says that management degree holders have the ability to enter a wide range of industries. So you'll find many of these people, you know, they try to see that they highlight on so many things. And they also say that they find that many even pursue, you know, entrepreneurship options and create their own business or create the small business or, you know, work for the startup program. So you'll find that a wide range of job options for business degrees so is a big range. You can become an accountant, you know, business analyst, finance analyst, or uh, HR manager or management consultant or marketing director, a project manager or a venture capital analyst, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So you have a lot of things uh, which goes with the uh, you know uh, organization. So you'll find that uh, uh, you know as per the Bureau of uh, Statistics US predicts that employment within management occupation will be five percent higher in 2029 than in 2019, which is faster than the 4% anticipated average job growth rate. So you'll find that a lot of uh, things are there where you'll find that you'll be able to manage with so much of uh, uh, you know job, but you'll find because of the COVID situation, this lot of job uh, disruption, 85 million jobs will be disrupted due to the new division of uh, you know, labor between humans and machine. Now you need to divide the work between humans and machine. We don't know how many, uh, you know, which, uh, uh, you know, machine will do what type of work, human will do what type of work. There's always a demarcation between these two. So there are tasks which will involve, uh, you know, use of artificial intelligence where humans are set to retain some Comparative advantage, including managing, advising, uh, decision making, reasoning, uh, uh, communicating and interacting, etc. So more than 80% of the business executives are accelerating plan to digitalize their work, digitalize their process. They go for business process engineering. They deploy new technology. So that means by 2025, employers will divide work between human and machines equally. So 50% in the company will find it will be managed by the humans. 50% of the work in the company will be managed by the machines. So I was just looking into the, you know, the, uh, 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 the data driven road. So when I look into the data driven road, you'll find that 33% of businesses want to raise spending on artificial intelligence. So they go with the artificial intelligence. 46% of the companies intend to create a new product and service. 43% to you know, focus on gaining 360 degree view of customers to create new revenues. 44% believe in upskilling the staff. So you'll find that they try to see that they go with the upskilling of staff. Now, when I see the residents, you know, uh, spend more than seven hours online every day. So it is 7.24 hours per day average spent on the uh, internet. So a lot of things are happening. So when you look into why UAE's economy will rebound, because the business activities are expanding, increasing the job, there's a rise in sales, there's a resumption of, uh, of uh, uh, construction activity, etc. So a couple of things you'll find that, you know, you'll find that uh, the jobs which are very useful will be head of the technology, you know, technological oriented job, head of the customer service, 
head of the culture and well-being, head of the uh, communications, uh, head of data and insights, etc. So all these jobs will be definitely very, very useful for most of the organizations. So when you talk about emerging jobs, you have all the emerging jobs in the data analysts and digital field, okay? But some of the jobs will be redundant over a period of time. Let me just uh, give you a last five minutes uh, introduction on uh, the university, which uh, uh, I have. Let me just share the other one, one more, just uh, five minutes, and then I'll be. I know the time is uh, embarking upon uh, um, all of you. And uh, let me just uh, give you um, one moment, please. I hope you're able to uh, see my slide. Quickly to tell you about the uh, uh, university. Here you'll find we are London American City College. Okay, London American City College, which is uh, here in existence for 21 years. So it has 21 years of excellence in world-class American and European degrees we are offering. It's the number one college run by distinguished professors. So it is formed by the distinguished professors. Now, if you see London American City College, it is fully accredited by the ASIC called as Accreditation Services for International Schools, Colleges and Universities based in England. Same way, it's also having the accreditation from European Council for Business Education from Belgium. And it has an educational membership of uh, from IACBE, International Accreditation Council Commission for Business Education and United States of America. And why American, London American City College we feel because the only a private uh, college with a double international accreditation with 21 years of excellence providing American and European degree programs. All the degrees are best approved, highly qualified professors. We have very good curriculum which uh, uh, meets the current business trend requirement with 10,000 students uh, you know, graduated from our institution. You'll find that 10,000 students, you know, graduates and undergraduates and postgraduate students who are already graduated and almost more than 90% of our students are employed and we provide placement assistance. We have the university called as Madonna University. We have a partnership with Madonna University for the past 19 years. It is one of the top university as for the US News and World Report based in United States of America and Michigan State. Now, Madonna University is fully accredited by American Higher Learning Commission. It's also accredited by ACBSP. It's also recognized by Council for Higher Education. So it is one of the top university, this is the Madonna University based in Michigan, USA. Same way we have a, a European university called as Euro College. This is from Republic of North Macedonia, fully accredited by Board of Accreditation, you know, Republic of uh, Macedonia, and it's also accredited by ASIC. Same way we have the College de Paris, you know, this is also a very well recognized uh, uh, university recognized by the government of France, okay? with uh, seven business schools in uh, uh, France accredited by RNCP and it is ranked in top 10% of masters out of the 200 business school in France. So we are offering the uh, bachelor's and the master's degree of Madonna University, Michigan, USA, Euro College from Europe and College de Paris from France. And we have lots of lots of specialization. If you look, just look through the specialization, we have uh, international business, management, accounting, finance, marketing, HR, IT, project management, supply chain management, quality management, banking, retail management, uh, travel and tourism, fashion management, luxury and brand, hospitality, sports management, etc. Apart from this, we also offer certificate in business administration, diploma in business administration, advanced diploma in business administration, postgraduate diploma in business administration, etc. And if you see the graduation ceremony, this is just a glimpses of our uh, uh, graduation ceremony. Okay, previous and we have the sports activities. You know, all these are our realistic student. It's not a cut and paste of the photographs. You know, we have the foot fiesta conducted every year. We have the uh, freshers party conducted uh, every year. Okay. We have the ethnic day. So a couple of things. We have very good campuses. We have very good campus in Sharjah. We have a campus in uh, uh, Fujairah. We have a learning center in Dubai. We have a learning center uh, in uh, 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 
uh, Russell Kema, etc. So a couple of places we have very good uh, campus, which is uh, around 40,000 square feet. Okay, so uh, you can always get in touch with us, you know, on our uh, uh, toll free number. Okay, we have the website address also where you can go through, you'll get all the information. It is www.lacc.ae or www.lacc.me or you can have www.lacc.university and you can get in touch with us through our toll free number 800 uh, So this is what we have for our uh, uh, students who ever wish to uh, contact and we have a, a special special scholarship option which you can always uh, avail of you know in the course uh, because you'll find that we provide a good uh, scholarship option for our students mostly most of the students we see that they get uh, scholarship so 99 percent of our students get scholarship 500 scholarships are granted annually we give a uh, off in the tuition fee, which is 25 to 30% off on the tuition fee, you know, a good uh, 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 discount in the registration fee. And we are charging only 10% of the cost of studying in the US. So you're just paying 10%. For example, you know, our degree will cost you, you know, around say uh, 60 to 65,000 dirhams, which will cost in the United States, if you're studying there in the United States of America, in the same campus there, you'll find it will cost you more than 450,000 dirhams. Okay, so you're just doing it at 10% of the cost of studying in uh, US. And, and uh, you'll find that we have a very good placement record as well. Five times better job opportunities provided to our student. 95% of our graduates are employed, you know, and they are employed within three to six months of their graduation. So we give the best to our uh, student in terms of teaching, in terms of learning, and see that they get the best out of their learning process. So we see that we, our students, you know, build up the economy. Our students are uh, star managers in the company. So they do the best, whatever way possible in order to manage. So always I tell the students that students, please do not discontinue your studies. Even during the COVID time, I know it's a very, very difficult venture, but roads are never smooth. Always there are difficulties in managing the, uh, you know, your uh, uh, problems but it should go on. It should be a part and parcel of your life and never ever compromise with your studies. You need to complete your studies in a specific period of time. Again, I repeat that, you will find that you need to complete your academic studies you know, on time. If you don't complete your academic studies on time, you'll find that you will be a loser. So always remember, academic studies, your academic profile should be complete under any circumstances, okay? So finally, I wish to conclude with uh, a quote from Lord Byron. He says that, I slept and dreamt that life was beauty. I woke and found that the life was duty. So wish you all the best. Be a dutiful student, a dutiful uh, daughter or a son, a dutiful citizen of a country and a dutiful citizen of the world. Thank you very much. Signing off, Dr. Kop Mohammed, the Dean and the Managing Director of London American City College. Thanks, Aton, Dr. Kop Mohammed. It was indeed a great guidance for the young aspirants, those who are seeking their career. Uh, I won't say that to seek a job, as you said, that it's, it's really a great thing that they need to go for a career. I really, uh, you know, appreciate the way you uh, guided and given the real circumstances and the real scenario happening in and around the corner. Because students are always, uh, you know, uh, behind that, uh, how to get a job, not to uh, set a career. So we always try to advise our students, our near and dear, that somehow we need to uh, prepare ourselves to face the uh, world and uh, to be skillful. And that happens only when we go for a career, not to get uh, into sick only for a job. Yes. Like you have given uh, many guidances. So that was really very much awesome. And uh, I think the students will be 
uh, imbibe them and they will be uh, taking as their, uh, you know, the guidance or a kind of mantras uh, for their future success. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. So now we have got few uh, inquiries of the questions along with uh, one or two from my side. Uh, that, uh, uh, sir, uh, like for the UG program from our students, we have uh, five schools. So those who are having all plus two. So what are the process that they need to follow to get admitted in the American or uh, American London University? If you could uh, yeah. tell us in detail, sir. Yeah, actually, uh, the admission process is very simple. You'll find that they need to submit uh, their uh, initial school document, okay? Whether if they are completed from CBSC, then the uh, 10th and the 12th grade mark sheet, 10th, 11th, and 12th, okay? With their passport copy, with the photographs, right? And uh, minimum, they should have around 55% marks, uh, you know, to get admitted. But as far as the, uh, uh, the IELTS and TOEFL is concerned, that is not required if a student has uh, completed studies in English language. Okay, we may ask for a letter in case uh, we feel that the student is not competent in English, then we may ask for a letter. Okay, so okay. this is the process which we uh, have, which is required for admission into our university. And uh, in case a student requires, he can study, say, two years here, and the third year he can go back to uh, US in Michigan State, he can study on campus also there. That provision is also there. So he can always get the uh, uh, I-20 process from that side, okay? So when they go there, uh, they, there also, they will again check for the English language test, okay? So the English language test, they should clear off or they should uh, have a TOEFL or the uh, I score, okay, in case they are going there and study as well, okay. But only difference is that here they are paying just 10% of the fees, whereas back in US they'll be paying their ocean fees. The full amount, yes, sir. I uh, sir, hope that when the students are directly applying to the American University on campus, so the, they need to uh, apply through the common application form, right, sir? Yes, uh, okay. we can apply through a common application form. We can send that link also so they can apply. Yes. And then we can, uh, you know, uh, cross check that everything has been done uh, properly. So our right, staff sir. also assist in doing that, you know. Right. So nowadays, all the American universities, even our students also, so they sit with our staff and then they do, you know, all the application process done uh, through the right, direct sir. contact with the universities. So I wish to also mention that all our students are also interacting with the uh, professors from the US. So final year, you will be interacting with all the professors, all your marking, everything will be guided by the professor directly. Correct, you know? sir. Correct, correct. You have a blended approach where you'll find right. an on site uh, uh, professor here and you also have a professor directly from the US. Very good, sir. Uh, sir, one more thing that, you know, uh, when the students will go for the master degree, like you said, that they uh, do ask for the four years, you know, the framework, correct. you know, in their graduation. Suppose a student uh, from the Indian University or the AC, you know, any Asian University. So what are the processes and how does it differ, like the, uh, especially in the field of business management? So like in India or in the Asian country, we have the trimester or the semester. So Correct. what are the process? Uh, I means what are the pattern that the American and the London University, they do follow? Yeah. No, normally, uh, once a student uh, completes uh, uh, the, say, a BCom from India, okay, or from any other Asian countries, you know, it's normally a three-year degree program. So if a student wants to join for an MBA degree from US, say, Madonna University, they want to join. So a couple of uh, students who completed from uh, different Indian universities, they came to us as well. And then what they need to do, they need to do a postgraduate diploma. Either they can do a postgraduate diploma, which is one year, so that that will equate with three year uh, BCom with one year postgraduate diploma, it will become a you know, four year degree standard. Okay, and then they can be admitted uh, for an MBA degree from uh, US. Or else the American University, they suggest that uh, you can do an American bachelor's degree in one year, you know. So that okay. opens up your, uh, you know, equalization for a four-year degree program. Mm, right. That's what the possibility is there. So you can get uh, your postgraduate diploma or do an additional bachelor's degree from US and do your 
MBA from uh, US. So in that case, if you are, uh, you know, American MBAs are normally one and a half years to two years. So you will have to do one additional year in order to be eligible for an MBA degree. However, for uh, the engineering students, because they are already having their four year degree, four years, right? for yeah, them, right. it is a direct entry, but right. they need to complete certain prerequisites, you know, because okay. the engineering field is different. So they may have around, uh, uh, say, three, four courses which they need to do as a prerequisite to get into the entry as a MBA student for a US university. We have a lot of uh, engineers who, uh, you know, mechanical engineers, electrical engineers, you know, who completed their uh, four year uh, engineering degree and then they completed their MBA and now they are back in Canada and different places. Yeah. All right, sir. Okay, sir. Uh, hope the students and the parents, uh, they have already understood if they want uh, get more information. So definitely, sir, your contact number has already been provided. Thank and you. Uh, you have also uh, cited at the last of your slide. So hope the students will uh, you know, uh, think, especially their parents, and uh, they will definitely uh, take their action. And I hope that, that that's a great opportunity will be for the students to get into the American. As you said, that obviously the graduation uh, or the degrees from the America is always having a first preference for every company. So thank you very much. Uh, we'll be. Uh, 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 that you know, wish to meet you again, and yes. uh, if uh, you know any more information is required, so we'll be get in touch with you. So yes. thank you, thank you very much for your uh, commendable uh, addition uh, in the field of education and the career guidance. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Sir. Thank you very much. Have a great evening. Have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hello, Mr. Yusuf. Hello. Mr. Yusuf, Mr. Joseph. Yeah, he has to stop recording actually. He's, I don't know. In the end, we need to go to another link. We will leave this link and join another link.